let's go ahead and let's do a quick sample scan. I've got this Star Wars character here. Even though she's a small object, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at medium and large objects. So not bad for our initial scan. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and create my cutting plane. And I'm sure that you're already familiar with a cutting plane, with the idea behind cutting planes, but in the event that you're not, it's basically you're just telling the software, this is the ground plane, that the figure, the character, the object, whatever, is on top of, um, and that's not actually part of what I want to scan. And so you'll see that the cutting plane is basically indicated by this red area. I'm gonna create the plane, go ahead and hit apply, and bam, go back to scanning her. All right, not too shabby. And um, now, because I want to capture the stuff that I wasn't able to get before, I'm gonna come over here, I'm going to create another project group. I'm gonna use the same exact settings that I had for the first scan. These tracking markers were all visible during my first scan. Kind of want them to be visible this time around too, so that the scanner has something to reference. Let's do this. I'm going to create another cutting plane. And this is kind of cool because you can come over here to the side, you can adjust those if you want to. I'm going to. But you could. I'm going to optimize that. So you can see now that I've optimized and generated a point cloud, the align option is available. So I'm gonna come over here, click on align. I'll grab my first project, stick that in the fixed window. Um, then for the floated project, I'm sorry, for, for, the, for the floated window, whoops. Okay, so that's gonna go there. And then floated window will be project two. Um, we've got feature auto align. So that's what I want. I'm going to hit apply. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and hit exit. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and mesh the data. Uh, I want her to be water watertight. We'll leave this at medium, low, low. Just go ahead and hit apply. See what we get. All right, she looks pretty good. So you can see that the Einstar did a really good job capturing her details. I just had to do three passes quick alignment, and she's good to go. And now if I wanted to, I could optimize the texture layout, take her into a third-party application, and update the textures. This is looking good enough for, for my purposes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and save, and that's it. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us at info at umax.com. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit like, please subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time.